An image from the Curiosity rover sparks worldwide controversy. Right there, as clear as a hand in front of her face, you can see the shadow on the left of the rover. Something is casting a shadow over the Martian surface. This looks like a human figure. September 2012. NASA's Curiosity rover is one month into its exploration of Mars's Gale crater. We're interested in Mars because it's so much like the Earth. We're sending this very sophisticated laboratory to a place where there may have been life in the past. There may still be some evidence of that past life preserved there, and we have the tools to detect it. The rover's array of 17 cameras photographs every step of its journey, and NASA publishes hundreds of these images online. One picture from a navigation camera reveals something completely unexpected. There's one crucial difference between this image and all the other images taken on Mars, and it's the shadow. What's casting that shadow? The photo goes viral, and the mysterious shadow provokes intense speculation. There's what looks like a humanoid figure, a humanoid shape, a shadow, standing right outside the rover and captured on camera. It is a very, very intriguing image. NASA fails to provide any official explanation for the shadow. Conspiracy theorists point to a leaked NASA document for a possible clue. One of the things found was a spreadsheet which apparently was entitled uh, Non-Terrestrial Officers. What other meaning could non-terrestrial officer have if not off of this planet? If they're not deployed on Earth, where are they? Maybe they're part of a permanent human presence on Mars. The success of the Matt Damon blockbuster depicting a manned mission to Mars has heightened interest in the Red Planet. But NASA claims it does not currently have the capability to send a manned spacecraft to Mars. Do we have personnel on Mars? Is there actually a secret space program? No human has ever been to Mars. And even though we've sent uh, many spacecraft missions, they've all been robotic. Now, NASA, of course, said that nobody has been to Mars. And yet other people will point out, well, yeah, but a lot of the technology to go to Mars exists. So why are we not using that? Why are there no people on Mars? Skeptics point out that the shape of the shadow in the image from the Curiosity rover doesn't match any known spacesuit currently in use. Every suit that's ever been developed has been one that places the astronaut inside of a gas bubble. That causes suits to be incredibly immobile. So looking at the photo, uh, the astronaut is making a motion with his arm that is physically impossible with gas suits today. But the movement of raising an arm would only be impossible if the figure in the rover image was wearing a suit based on current human technology. Just as aviation technology runs 10, 15, 20 years ahead of what's publicly declared, it stands to reason that the same is true of space technology. Skin suit development is underway currently by NASA and by others around the world, and these suits look nothing like the suits that you're used to seeing. Photo analyst Mark D'Antonio has been using computer modeling to investigate what could have created the distinctive arm shape in the image. I took the rover and I put it where it belongs and put the sun in the sky where it belongs for the time that shot was taken. And what I found was something very interesting. Recreating the lighting conditions in which the picture was taken reveals the source of the shadow. When I rendered it, I saw this show up. And if you look at the photo in question, this could be this, and that could be that, and that could be that. And there's the mast cam sitting over here. I believe that we are looking at the Mars hand lens imager on the end of the robotic arm. What looks like the first ever Martian tourist is simply Curiosity's own shadow. The astronaut's arm is in fact an extended robotic arm holding a camera. 
But the day that a human being visits Mars may be just over the horizon. The Orion spacecraft that will one day carry mankind to the red planet already exists. The rocket that will power the mission is under trial at the ATK test facility in Utah. It is larger than any launch vehicle that's ever been produced before. It's about 25% more powerful than even the Saturn V lunar rockets in the past. And Orion is already flying. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. We flew in December, very successful flight, proved out most of the systems that we could do from a low Earth orbit to get confidence in the vehicle. Orion's advanced technology will enable astronauts to travel at unprecedented speeds. Some of the new technologies are these ion drives. This is a type of engine that actually sends very small particles at near light speed out the back of the nozzle of the spaceship, as opposed to a, a big explosion. It's a really, really small explosion that happens over a long period of time. But there are other obstacles to establishing a human presence on Mars. Perhaps the biggest is keeping astronauts alive and healthy during what could be a two and a half year trip. How are we going to get enough food on board to feed the crew? And secondly, how are we going to protect them against the deadly radiation boiling off the sun? If the sun has a storm, and it occasionally does, it's going to boil off these high-speed particles that will zip right through their bodies and give them instant cancer. It's not a good scene. Food will be a problem for any manned mission. But as long as the spacecraft can carry enough of it, it could offer the solution to the deadly radiation. Once you've consumed the food, you have to go to the bathroom. Your poop still contains hydrogen, and hydrogen remains a very precious radiation protectant for you. And what you want to do with your poop is actually put it in bags, seal the bags, and put those bags back on the wall where you took the food in the first place so that your radiation shielding remains intact. A radiation shield made of human excrement will be just one of the grim realities of space travel for the first pioneers to Mars. Once you go into deep space on your way to Mars, that's when measures like these are going to really matter. For now, Curiosity continues its journey across the red planet alone, but it might have company soon. I certainly hope that we eventually go to Mars. I'm sure that we will do that. And maybe at that point, some human will walk up to a rover and put their hand on it. But of course, that hasn't happened yet.